My topic has an ominous kind of a slant to it, you know, the, the game changer, uh, shifts that happen. There are those of you out there that are probably saying, well, this is something that I should really be cautious about because something bad is going to happen. But I think most of you probably are the survivors of this last economic turndown. You're probably being very optimistic. This is something you should be excited about. So let's talk about the changers social networks. Facebook, Twitter, Google, those, those are networks, those are people talking and communicating. This is the new table conversation, this is the new cocktail conversation now, and it's happening just insidiously fast. These review waiting rating sites, vital, health grades. Content sharing is basically real self, I heard some comments about that earlier today, and also YouTube. If you have videos and you have a quote channel on YouTube and you think you're helping yourself by having your videos run on your YouTube channel, you're wrong. You're wrong. If that video doesn't reside on your site, you're not getting the, social, uh, the search engine benefit. The only reason that Google bought out YouTube was that was another directory. They started off originally with words, then they went to pictures. And they said, look, people are staying on a site even longer with videos, so they bought YouTube. So those are what we call our social media, and they're the changers. Here's something about social media real quick. The bulk of the action is happening on the left side of that red line. I don't know if you can see the detail there. And by the way, I'll make this presentation available to anyone that wants to get a copy of it. But it's happening on, that, on, the, on the other side. And what's happening, if you look at that, that top line, those top two lines, are the younger population. It shows when they begin to adapt social media. And obviously, they were on the front end. But on the other side of the curve, the see people over 40 years of age, people that have their stuff, their stuff's good enough. They've got the money. They've got a clock ticking. They want to basically enhance and improve themselves. Those people are the ones adopting and they're shopping and buying and validating who are and who is qualified. And by the way, this is a chick business. This is chick to chick. And what's happening with those two arrows is saying that the women are the biggest adapters, are the biggest sharers. So social media is going to be here. It's going to influence your destiny. It's going to govern where you're going to be. What are some of the apps that we use, by the way? Some things you should be expecting of your web developers, or your ISP, or whoever is doing your optimization. One, you should, they should be posting all the events, and those should be going viral through Facebook, through Twitter, through all of the other social media networks. Newsletter list expansion by sending out information or having calls to action on your web page, calls to action on your, on your social media pages. You're now accumulating addresses, people that have opted in by the mere fact that they asked for something from you. Okay? Seminars, announcements, special, and you can, by the way, you can do webinars now on, on the internet. I used to have my clients tell me, well, if I can't have them come to my office, I'm not going to tell them a damn thing. I'm, I'm excuse me, I am not want to tell them a thing. Well, hey, listen, these consumers have a choice, so maybe an online type of webinar might be, a, might be the thing to do. Consider it. And, yeah, I mean, I'm talking about Skype. I know what it is, but I don't think Skype is quite there yet. Uh, your photo galleries, your video galleries. Patient testimonial is one of the most powerful things you can use on a website for both search engine and selling and closing with calls to action. Special offices, and by the way, this one is one you're in control of. The discount price that you want to put are special, are one time, you control the price. All these other deal sites want you to drop your price to a fraction, 50%, 25%, and that's when they want to deal with you. Anything more than that, they don't want to deal with you. They want to have people crawling in there, using up your times, sponging up your equipment, sponging up your facility. But that's a very important option. Community projects, 5K runs, community activities, that's how you use social media. Here's a client of ours in Chicago, a suburb, and he's got his fans that he's building, he's got his life that he's building, he's got his own statement. There's a difference between a Facebook business page and a Facebook consumer page. And what we're talking about, when I talk about Facebook, I'm talking about your billboard on the social media highway that brings people into your practice that want to know more about you. What's your action steps? There's three social media you want to be involved with. There's no options. You can't opt out. Facebook business page is a must. Twitter feeds Facebook, and whoever's doing that for you should feed into Twitter. And by the way, as Dr. Tess says, and boy, she's one of the few people I've heard say this, this is a full-time job. Before all this happened, clients were spending seventy-five, eighty, a hundred thousand dollars for marketing, and when hard times hit, they cut it down to a fraction of that, and they said, "I'm going to keep the money in my pocket. I'm not going to spend any more money." And that's a mistake. There should be somebody in every practice, I don't care how big or how small you are, that's spending no less than fifteen to twenty hours every week 
doing some level of internet involvement, from email management to working with your ISP on your e-blast to segmenting your list down, as she was saying, into what they're specifically interested in. If you've got two people, uh, two thousand people on the mailing list, don't send them the same information over and over again. It's called email fatigue. It's called list fatigue. Separate them out by either gender, by areas of interest, facial procedure, body procedures, weight loss. Break them into lists and send them more, even more frequently. So a typical client that we're working with is usually send three or four e-blasts out a month. And their open rate is exceeding 20%, which is considered the benchmark. I'm talking fast because I've got a lot to say, and I'm also very excited about what I do. Now, there are some tools within social media that you can't miss taking advantage of. Facebook, you know about the likes. You heard about the likes. Get into this issue of Google Plus One. If you have a Gmail account in about 90 days, Anything you look for on the internet that you want to buy, be it a car, facelift, whatever, they'll have little plus ones and comments about people in your community that live in your area that are commenting about your services. Google is coming in like a, like a shark, and they're going to make it very difficult to, for all of us, patients and limited included, by the way, to be as successful as you want to be. And by the way, don't forget to use some of the gadgets, the share medium. The, the, that's a different situation. That's when the person clicks on something and they say, I want to share this with a friend, a relative, a family member. All right? Reputation science, let's talk about that real quick.